Hello and welcome to another short technical preview of CDO model repository integration in the Kepler release of the Eclipse Papyrus project. Today we will be looking at creating new models in a repository. So, whereas in the Juno release we're familiar with the new Papyrus model wizard for creating models in the workspace, <coughs> We also need to be able to create new models in repositories. So why don't I connect a repository and I can see that there are no Papyrus models in here. So let's add one. Let's give it a name like my model. And as usual, we have the option of creating a SysML model or profile model. We'll just proceed for now. I want to create a class diagram and apply a model template. And here we are. <laughs> I have a new model with its usual components. And it's empty except for what the template applied, which was a package import. So let's get down to work. Let me create a class. And maybe I'll add a property to that. I'll call it name. And let's set the type. Let's look for that string type in the primitive types library. That looks good. And there we are. Okay, so that's a new model. Now, we also might have uh, existing domain models in this repository that we want to attach diagrams to, and uh, for that we initialize an existing, we initialize a new Papyrus model from an existing domain model. So, as in the Juno release for workspace models, we can do that. So, the wizard comes up this time with a slightly different aspect and suggests <coughs> a name based on the domain model name. So, we'll go with that. And once again, you know, we'll create a new diagram. Don't have the option to apply a template because the domain model already exists. I do have the option of selecting the root element. For now, the package makes the most sense. So we'll finish. And here now we see our UML resource has acquired some friends and looks like a papyrus model. And indeed it is, of course. So now we can start dropping stuff onto our diagram to organize that. That looks good. I don't really like showing the name labels of associations. There we go, that's all good. And <coughs> we can save that and close. That's all good. This new model wizard is one wizard that combines the, the capabilities of creating models in whatever persistent store we choose. So if I don't have a workbench selection active that suggests where I'd like to put my new model, the wizard will ask me would I like to create it in the workspace or would I like to create it in a repository. <coughs> so I have the usual options for creating models in workspaces or I can choose a repository. As we saw last week in the import wizard, uh, if I have a repository already connected, that's selected by default. Otherwise, this wizard will let me select any other and connect it on the fly. So let's just go with that. I can select here the model. And of course, the usual kinds of validations apply. And oh, you already have one of those. OK, so I'll have another. <coughs> and 
Well, that's create a profile this time. So what does it say? Oh, there's a, a naming convention for the profile model. So it uh, suggests the new name for me, and that's good. Uh, now, of course, that I'm creating a profile, I've got entirely different selections of diagrams to work with. So uh, let's do that. I do still want to apply that template. And go finish. So now I have a profile. I have uh, a meta model imported. I can create a stereotype. I can import a meta class, like say class. That's a good one. I can extend that class. Ooh, good stuff. And I'll hit Command S to save, and as usual, I'm asked, do I want to apply this profile? Sure. Or, sorry, define this profile. Let's uh, put a name in there as uh, an author. Yeah, whatever. And say OK. So, save proceeds. That looks good. Now, in here I do have my profile. Let's just open that up in the CDO editor to see what we get. Oops. And yeah, here's the profile definition with some annotations and the, uh, the core definition of my stereotypes. So, all looks in order. And that was a brief tour of creating new models in Papyrus model repositories. Thank you.